wave them high. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. Hi boys and girls, welcome to the Red Elephant Art Club. I'm really happy you're here with me today. I've got a really fun project to share with you today and I have this really beautiful book that the, the artwork has been inspired by. It's called Red Leaf, Yellow Leaf by Lois Erlerk. And it, it is such a fun, really beautiful book. And it's just full of beautiful artwork. And, but, and it's all about a sugar maple tree. So today what we're going to do is to make some paint, some uh, leaves ourselves, okay? All right, so I want you to get your things ready. And what you'll need is some watercolor paper. You're going to need some uh, paints, watercolors, some fall colors. Pick your very favorite fall colors. And also, also we'll need uh, blue and purple, all right? You'll need uh, a paintbrush, probably maybe a medium one and a wide one. Maybe that might be good to have. And we're going to use some oil pastels again. And you will need uh, a black one for sure. And then maybe a few other fall colors, uh, orange and red and uh, mustard a brand, mustard yellow and a yellow. Just some fall colors, any ones you want will work. And then you'll need uh, a cup of water. We're also gonna do some salt. We're gonna do, try that salt experiment again that we did on our last project. And please make sure you're wearing an apron to protect your clothes, okay? And as you gather your supplies up, I'll get ready myself. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye-bye. Okay, boys and girls, you have all your things. Do you have your oil pastels? Make sure you have a black one. We're gonna need a black one for sure to start off. Then some just fall colors like orange and red and yellow and maybe a brown or a mustard yellow. And then you're gonna need some water colors. And you really don't need as much as I put down here. You just need a little bit, but you will need uh, like a red, an orange, a yellow, a brown or a mustard yellow and purple and blue. All right, and then make sure you have some water and just a little bit of table salt. And I think that's all. Now, your brushes. Okay, and I think that's all we need to get started. And you'll definitely need some watercolor paper, all right, or a mixed media. Watercolor paper will actually do better than just a mixed media. But if you, that's all you have, that's fine. Okay, what we're going to do is make some really fun fall leaves, okay? It is so beautiful outside right now. I don't know um, where you live. But right here, we, I live in Utah, and right now we are seeing some really beautiful colors. All right, so first thing I want you to do is I just want you to make, we're just going to draw some leaves all over this paper. So just kind of follow me. I want you just to take, put your oil pastel, oil pastel down here, and I just want you to make a curve, okay? And then maybe come back down a little bit and make a little bit of a stem here, okay? Just like that, and you can color that in if you want. Just a little one, right? Then we're just gonna, it doesn't matter if some of your leaf kind of goes off the paper, that's okay, because we're making kind of like a, a leaf collage, all right? So I want you to start here and then just go up and then go around and just kind of make it curvy for the leaf. Go back around and then back up, all the way up and around and curvy up here again. Just do it like that. And then we'll do it to the other side, okay? And so we'll come up here, start right here, the top here, right next to the other one, and go around, and then you can go around again, and then just kind of swerve sort of up like that. And there's one leaf, okay? There's one of your leaves. It doesn't have to be perfect, all right? Because leaves kind of grow all different ways. All right, so let's just do another one. Maybe I'm gonna turn my paper all the way around now so that it's kind of like an angle. That way it'll be more of a curve. Okay, so I'm gonna start down here and go up here and make a curve. And then I'm gonna start down here again and just kind of like this. That way I have a little stem for my leaf, okay? Now I'm gonna do something similar to this. I'm just gonna go around and around and around and around and make a top and maybe actually kind of Go that one right on top of that one a little bit, and then round again, round, and then come right back there. All right. 
And then let's turn the paper around again, like this. And let's make one more. And maybe you've made your smaller. And if you've made your leaves smaller, then maybe you can um, add some, you know, more leaves on, okay? Which would be perfectly fine. Okay, I'm going to make a small one down here. This time I'm going to go right up here like this. And just make a little stem again. And do like this. And then I'm going to come up here to where I kind of stopped making it thick right here. So it's the top. And I'm going to go around, around and down. Like I said, it, there, it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to go up here like this. And I'm going to come down here and do the same thing I did to the other side. And then, then I'm going to come up here and kind of make it connect. So it looks like that. Okay, and there's my three leaves. Now what to do is take one of your other colors and we're gonna make some stems and take it right from the side of where the stem is and go out and go make a few veins going out towards your end, okay? Like this. Then you can make some that come off. And then it might be fun to maybe use a different color and just add a few more. Okay, just like that. All right, that's kind of nice. Okay, then let's do it to, the, let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other leaves. Okay, so we're gonna make some more veins coming out. You kind of make them go up up towards the top of your leaf and then you can actually do some more you can add some more leaves some more veins with some different colors i'm going to do some over here as well just use different colors that you have just like this We want it to have lots of colors. Have you ever looked at a leaf before and all the different colors that are in the leaf? There's all sorts. They're usually gold and green and orange and red. Lots of pretty colors that are in leaves. All right. I think that's what I'm going to do. So the next step is to paint it. All right. So I think I'm going to start this one make sure you get I think I'm going to just use a small brush and I'm just going to get it wet and I'm going to add a little bit of orange make sure I have plenty of water on my brush and the oil pastel is like it resists the paint so it kind of helps kind of cradle the paint in now I'm just going to add some water to my to my paint Kind of swirl it around and just fill it in, okay? And then I might want to actually add a little bit of yellow now and just kind of add some yellow in there. And you just fill it in. You just go around, right around where you, you drew your leaf. Okay, let's just go ahead and finish painting all of it. And you can use any of your colors that you picked out like I can change and I don't even have to rinse my brush out very much because I kind of want it to blend and I might just add a little bit of red in here and then to swirl it around all I do is add a little bit more water all right and you just continue painting all your leaves the same way all right, now don't do the background yet. Just try to stay in the lines of the leaf, but the, the oil pastel kind of helps cradle the paint in. And if you want to, just add some more water to your brush to spread it around, okay? Just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the video off for a minute and I'm gonna work on mine and I want you to work on yours. Yours, do each one of the leaves that you, that you drew and then we'll come back so that we can paint the background, okay? I'll see you just in a few minutes, all right? You go ahead and work on yours. Hi, boys and girls. Did you finish painting your leaves? Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're it's gonna, it's called water on water. 
Water on watercolors, okay? So what you're gonna do is paint right on water. So you're gonna get your big brush and you're gonna just paint water right on in between your leaves, not on your leaves, but around it as if you're painting the whole background with water, okay? Don't get your paint, your paper too wet, but go ahead and paint your whole background. Well, maybe you might not wanna do it. It might dry too much. Let's just do one section at a time, okay? Here we go, we're gonna do this section. So I've got the bottom half of mine done like this. And then what you do is you get your little bit of paint and you just put it on there. Look how it just kind of flows. Look at that, look how it just kind of flows on there. Isn't that pretty? Now I think I'm gonna use a little bit of blue too. And you just kind of dab it in there and like, it will just kind of paint the painting for you. Just the, the it will just, Go wherever the water is, the paint will go. Okay. Okay, so now let's let's add some more water. Okay. I want to just kind of rinse my brush out here a little bit. And I'm going to add some more water over here. I should have rushed, brushed it up, rinsed it out just a little bit better. Okay, so make sure your brush is clean. Okay, and then I'm going to add some water around here. And go around each one of the leaves like this. Okay, and I think I'll come up in here where I didn't have any water before and just kind of go in between the leaves like this. Okay. All right, then let's do it again. I'm going to add a little bit of purple. Do it like this. And look how it kind of dances around there. Isn't that pretty? Now we get a little bit of blue. Right like that. Right. Okay. Whoops, I Kind of got a little bit on my leaf there, didn't I? Okay, let's go ahead and get some more water on our on our paintbrush. Let's rinse it out really good this time. Don't do what I did. Okay, make sure you get your paintbrush good and dry, good and clean. Okay, now we're going to do up here on the top. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go up here. Go in between the leaves. Okay. You know, using that oil pastel kind of helps resist the, the water actually to even going on top of it because it just kind of pushes it away. All right, let's see. I think after this, you guys ought to go on a leaf hunt and see what kind of beautiful leaves you guys can find. Okay, let's go ahead and try to do this one now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue and just kind of drop it down on the on the paper. And let's see what it does. It just kind of swims over there, doesn't it? All right, that's kind of fun. Let's see, I'm gonna get some more. I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit. Okay. Wow, that's kind of like a puddle here. I might need to I need to kind of swim some of that over there. Oh, all right. Okay. Hey, that looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Okay, let's do the last section over here. And then I think I might want to come back and just add a little bit more. Okay, I need to make sure my paintbrush is dry and also clean. Okay, let me get some over here, some water. I think my water might be a little bit of blue also that's causing it to show up blue. But that's okay, I guess. I'll just add, I'm going to add a little bit of purple right in here. So that I can have some purple up in my on my painting. I didn't get very much purple over here, so maybe I might go back and add a little bit of purple. 
Okay, then I'm gonna use my small brush to kind of get in between here, I think, because I want all of it to have some blue. Okay, I wanna go like this and add it in between, just so I have a little bit more background. Okay, Let's see what this looks like. Okay, like that, I guess, huh? Okay, so then the last step after you're finished, you have this the way you like it, is when we use our salt. Okay, now this really only works if you're using um, watercolor paper or mixed media paper, okay? You just use some regular uh, a canvas or, a, or just regular like copy paper or something like this, it would not work. So, all right, I'm almost done. I just kind of want to play around with it for a minute more. All right, I think I like it. I think I'm happy with it. Okay, now I'm going to take the salt, and you don't put it on your leaves. I want you to only put it on your background, okay? And just a little bit, just sprinkle in just different spots. It doesn't have to cover the whole thing, okay? And what happens is the salt will absorb some of the paint, and then after this, after your painting completely dries, you just brush some of this, you just brush the, the uh, salt off, okay? Uh-oh, look what I did. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think there was anything else in there. <laughs> okay, it'll be all right. It'll have a big old white spot there, I'm sure. But anyway, boys and girls, I want to see your paintings. If you had fun doing this, this painting gives me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I really want to see your paintings, so be sure to take a picture of it. And go ahead and post it on our Red Elephant Art Gallery on our Facebook page, all right? All right, thanks so much for coming, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.